Hello FSG, welcome back to the farm, how are you? Morning Ox, how are you? I'm pretty tired from doing all the work around here, but uh, it's nice to have you back. <laughs> I apologise, I am back and I will uh, make up for it today. Uh, that's alright, I got rained off, We got the rolling. Well, I got the rolling done on those three fields and it started raining, so I uh, didn't get much else done. Good, well that means we've got some stuff to do today, doesn't it? It does, it does. I think we're going to uh, go and lime one little field on the other side of the road and uh, then get some canola planted in the two fields here. Alright, that sounds like a plan. Um, I will go and fill up the cedar then, I think, shall I? If you want to get started on the lime. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, I'll run over and do that and uh, you get planters and cedars and whatnot sorted out and we can uh, crack into it. We'll only need one cedar to do that field over the road, it's pretty small, so... No worries. All right, yeah, well, I'll sort the cedars out then, and then hopefully I'll, you'll be back in time. Probably, probably. Cool. Well, let's get to it. Let's do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Hannah Indiana. As we've just said, we're going to jump here into the 4940. We're going to go and tackle some lime over the road. So just bring up the map here. Field 31 here, we need to put some lime on. It is only a small field when you compare it to 20. I know that one's only tiny. It's probably about the same size. Uh, and once we've done that, FSG might come over and plant that with canola and uh, we will go and get set up to plant number 12 in canola so we'll be both tackle that one, it's a lot bigger field as we know Now if we get things all finished uh, in those in good time we might head over and plough 33 but these two fields, 15 and 33, we're planning to put corn into and obviously we can't plant that until spring so uh, we have to wait to get those ones done but at least if we can get it ploughed although when spring comes around we'll be ready to start planting uh, 32 there is a cornfield and is growing at the moment, it's very very small, uh, we won't take long to harvest but we're going to use that corn to make some pig food so uh, probably depending how we go in today's episode with getting everything done and prepped we might be over tackling some corn uh, before we know it but I'm just going to head out here, we've already got uh, the better part of two thirds of a uh, hopper here of lime but if we just come in here we should be able to top up from the auger here uh, we did manage to figure out what the issue was and get it working. So there we are. Whoops. Uh, so we'll get some lime into there and then we will be able to head on over and get this applied and spread onto the field once we are all full. And FSG is going to go and you go. You've already got one of the best tiles out and getting hooked up to an air seeder out there. So uh, hopefully he is going to be okay getting everything sorted out there. I do imagine we'll get this done before he is even, uh, even out of the yard. So we'll head on over and go and get this field done. Alright, well, we're over here now, we're just going to jump into it right here on the edge. Probably means we might overspread just a little bit. Uh, but let's try and get our width on the left hand side here. Set up, that looks about right, probably a little bit further over. I don't want to miss any though, but let's set up. Here we are, we are just missing a little bit. We set up things there, we'll try and get a GPS course going once we're heading in a pretty much straight line here along the field. That looks pretty good to me. Get an A point put down there. B point as well and that should be pretty good to go bring up our lines looks like things are set pretty perfectly so we're just going to crack through this it's not going to take us very long at all uh, short little time lapse should just about get it done so we'll catch you in just a little bit There we are, done and dusted, literally in lime, heading on back over to the yard. Uh, we did have to pop over and refill as you would have seen. Now we grabbed the conveyor and it had fertilizer in it still, which I didn't realise obviously from FSG getting the cedar all set up. Uh, we had a little bit of a uh, oopsie there and had to unload the fertilizer and then put the lime in, but we're all sorted now. Um, we will head on back over. 
leave FSG to hopefully have his planter all up and ready to go and he can come down and plant this field and we will go and get the other one sorted out. I'm going to say nothing about uh, triggers and tip points and things like that. It's I, been a bit of a nightmare. I, I must admit I did notice a little pile of seed on the ground next to an auger. It's like, it's yeah, like you I don't even know how that happened. It's like you haven't been in the game for a while and you've forgotten how to play it. <laughs> um, sixty percent seed in this one. I was okay. just going to top it up a little bit more. Uh, fertilizer in them both was good. It was up above seventy-five percent, so okay. I left that. Okay. Do you want to? You go over and seed that other field, then I'll tidy up here and get this finished off if you like. All right, mate. It just needs a little top up, and the yeah. trigger actually. If you reverse the truck up, the trigger catches it without you needing to move the auger. If you want to, that oh, okay. little secret. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, there we go. We'll save him any more embarrassment and blushes, and uh, we'll tidy this up for him. So I think he was saying we can use the truck without actually having to get too close to this. Uh, probably put the truck next up into here. I think the trigger's about here. We can probably fill that up. So we'll give that a go instead of using the auger. But we will need to make sure we have enough seed in here. Uh, what do we got? Oh, he's got two and a half thousand litres. Will that top a bit up? We just might need to jump up the front here. And uh, just change which hopper we're putting the seed into. Let's have a look here. Yeah, so we'll just move that over. You can see our front one is full. So we'll put that onto there. We're going to jump back in the truck. Tip it in and see how much closer to full we are then. Alright, there we are. Not quite over the trigger properly, but it is tipping out. 2,500 litres going in. We'll hop over. Let's jump back into the tractor and have a look to see how full that is now. Probably going to be about 80%. It's 5,600 in the front one, another 2.5. So we can probably take about another 3,000 litres of seed. You go 83%. So we might as well top it up uh, while we're here and have everything set up. So we'll go and grab a little bit more seed. Uh, what are we saying? About 2,500 litres? We'll go and try that and see how close we get. There, if we do get backed in right here next to the silo, we don't actually need the auger to fill it up with, so that's nice. We've got 3,100 litres. Let's go and see how close we get to filling the hopper up with that. We should be able to just back up to it and we'll be able to tell whether it takes it all or not. Alright, there we are. We are full 5,600 litres of seed in both hoppers. Now, if FSG was just pointing out, when we've changed it to canola, you can see me cycling through the different seed options there, it uh, leaves the second hopper on barley, so Hopefully, we've selected canola there, that will be what it plants. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that when we run out of seed. I'm pretty sure we've had it before where it uh, does correct itself. Because the seed we have selected is canola, it's just remembering what we had in there last time. But we did lead, oh a little bit under 2,000 litres there, you can see we've got 1,200 litres left in the back of here. So I might try and dump that back into the uh, silo and then we'll go and start, make a start on the other fields. All right, well that is everything topped up, ready to go. Now I haven't driven the Versatile for a few episodes now. It feels like we've spent a bit of time in the fence lately, so it's going to be nice to jump back into this. Now I'm going to go and make a start in this field. There's no point going to the effort of unfolding this and having two of these running down in that little field. Uh, we'd be done in no time. So I'll get things set up in here. Uh, we'll put up some course play or auto drive or guidance steering courses, some GPS courses, get the right terminology there and uh, we'll get this all set up and hopefully we can do a couple of headland passes, get the field all set up and when FSG gets over here he can just join in and uh, help us out as well. But there we are, getting all this all folded and everything down. Now I did pick up the uh, couple of pallets of fertilizer that we had to take out of the spreader before and top them into here as well. So we're pretty much full up on fertilizer. There we are, we'll be able to get this turned on get the toolbar all lowered down we do have canola selected now I am just gonna nose forward just a touch take a look there see we're getting our green color there same as what um, some guys doing down there in field 31 so with that in mind I think we will start mosey on down just a little bit here we'll just work on getting another GPS course all set up on here we will get it all saved and then we'll jump into getting this field all underway all right, and we are well and truly underway. Now I do just come to the realization, I think, that uh, we don't actually have to put any more nitrogen on here because, of course, we did put the anhydrous on to start off with. So our nitrogen is actually pretty much perfect already for canola. So we will uh, not use up too much of the fertilizer in this planter, which is uh, just fine. And we'll just start to box through the seed. So again, 
while we wait for FSG to get over here, let's just uh, time lapse us getting these headlands done. Get this field all opened up, set up. We've got the GPS course all up and running. We've saved that so when FSG gets over here, he can join us on that same course and uh, we'll just get things planted. So let's roll the music again and we'll catch up with you in just a little bit. Alright, well we've made it around the headlands a couple of times. Uh, this is something I've wanted to try and I thought what better chance to do it than now on this big field. I've always looked at the hitch there on the back of the air car and thought can we hook the roller up behind it and cover the rolling all in one go. Now obviously it's not going to work if FSG comes in and helps us out, which he will be uh, very soon. I think he's pretty close to finishing that field over the road. But let's see if we can get this to work and at least we can cover off half the rolling. Uh, and then we only have to go back and roll, we can use the same GPS course, we only have to go back and roll the rows that he does plus the headlands. So uh, we'll see if it's going to hook up or not, uh, we might have to go bring the John Deere back out again and reconnect things. Now the only the only uh, non-realistic part to this, if, uh, if there's such a thing, would be the lack of any hydraulics uh, and hoses that go through to to the roller from the grain car or from the air cart sorry here we are we can hook things up so that's a good start let's see now we are on this we can get it unfolded and we are there we go look at this so we are going to be not too much wider uh, i'm just trying to remember the mandaco is 65 or 75 foot and we're planting at 60 feet so it's not too much difference so 22.9 meters wide in there for the roller and if we have a look at our cedar 65 feet so 19.3 so there's only about two meters difference so it's not too much of an overlap really when you look at it i think it must be 65 feet for the cedars and maybe 75 for the roller but not too far apart question will be there we go we can lower that down there lower our uh tool bar back down big question is going to be can the tractor pull it how is the horsepower on this big versatile? And well, if you ask me, she's pulling it, no worries. Up to 9 miles per hour. So uh, there we go, we are doubling down on our rolling and our planting at the same time. That is going to make things a whole lot faster and be a whole lot more efficient because it's one less task we need to come back and do, or at least when we do do it, we only need to do it in some little sections. There you are. Hook a roller up to the back of your ear cart make your job and your life a whole lot easier shame we don't have two of them we could have uh, both been doing it this way anyhow we're going to carry on we'll uh, make sure we get turned around very soon and I didn't have my GPS on that's frustrating because we're not going to be quite in alignment there going down that road but that's alright we'll go back and body that up but anyhow we'll go and uh, wait for FSG to get over here and give us a hand very soon 
The only other thing I was worried about with this setup is whether you could seed and plant into the rolled ground. And it does look like you can. It's like we are getting where we had the overlap with the roller is getting planted there as we head on back down this way. So that is good news. Very good news. I'm gonna interested to see the look on FSG's face. Not that I'll see it, but I'll definitely be able to read the reaction in his voice when he gets over in here and sees this setup. Alright, here's FSG. I wonder what he is going to think of this setup. Oh, look at you, you genius, with your roller on the back. <laughs> I wonder what you'd think of that. I thought, uh... Very clever. Bumping up the efficiency. Working out alright, actually. I am impressed. Yeah, it looks great. It's a shame we don't have two of them. It is. It is. Yeah. Um, there's a GPS course already saved for this field 12 cedar, I think it is. So just jump in and... Maybe if you go to the other cool. side of the field and then we'll have a solid block of unrolled ground to do. Yeah. I was trying to work out what you'd done and what you hadn't done. So you've done the, you've done the I've done the outside, I've done the headlands and then I've started on the side and working my way across. Alright, cool. Ah, uh, there we go. Suitably impressed. But like I said, it is a shame we don't have two of them. It would have made things a whole lot more efficient. Alright, well we're uh, well underway here in this field now with getting the canola in here. This is the last one we need to get planted. We'll see FSG over there. He is going to go and set up and work over towards us just so we can keep our uh, planted and rolled texture or rolled area uh, separate from his. It should make it easier to go through and roll a little bit later on. But I think we might jump into our little bit of a montage with the planting here. Get some nice shots of the versatile and the seed hawks with the Mandaco there on the back. And uh, we will come back to you once we are all finished. Well, here we are heading down the last part of the field FSG's finished his part there on the other side he's finished off down the other end I think he might, uh, might be shitting us down the field here there he is he wants to get a screenshot or something when we're done but uh, here we are this has worked out really really well with the rolling so you can see we've rolled across to here in fact have a look there on the map you can see uh, see what we've done so a pass around the headlands and then a few passes there on the upper side of the field and we'll be all done and uh, also field 31 down there to get rolled as well so uh, it's worked out really well i'm really impressed with how well this has actually gone to get everything done as uh, efficiently as we can very happy with it but anyway we are here at the end so we'll get this uh, all turned off lifted up and uh, we'll get it folded up and back over to the farm nicely done Oggs. yes went nice and smooth as it always does 
uh, even smoother having that roller on, having a smoother rolling texture. I've, I've spotted we're about, literally, it's as good as half and half of the field as we could have got. I'd be really interested to see when we cut it what the what the yield difference is. Oh, you reckon we leave it rolled and unrolled? Well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, just, I was just thinking thinking in my uh, quiet time in the cab, but yeah. it'd be, uh, be a fun little experiment, wouldn't it? See oh, what could... it actually converted to. Yeah, it could be. It would be interesting. We can do that. Um, what do you don't, want? don't tell the bank manager. No, that's true. That's true. We have to uh, bear that debt in mind. Well, we're uh, we're pretty much done field work wise, aren't we? We're we're in a bit of limbo now until uh, stuff starts growing or needs uh, some attention. Effectively, yeah, we've got the cornfields. We could prep and plow one, but uh, we whether we do it before winter or after winter doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, like you say, yeah. otherwise pretty much in limbo now until things grow. We've got that one little field of corn to harvest, and uh, maybe we can use that to feed some pigs and get that set up over the winter. Yeah, no, that's a good call as well, isn't it? Hmm. See if the bank manager will allow us to buy some pigs. Wow, as long as we don't spend more than the 90 grand we've got operating cash, is it? Exactly, exactly. Alright, well, I suppose we better pack this stuff up then. Yes, yes, and uh, we won't be needing these cedars for corn, so uh, you'd make sure you give them a good hose down. Yes, sir. I think I've been uh, nothing but uh, very well behaved with my washing of equipment oh, in this you, series. You have been. You've been uh, I've been very impressed. <laughs> right. Right. Let's head back. Okay. All right, well, there we are. We'll get this uh, toolbar folded up and head on back over to the yard. I will... Well, we've got the roller on. I'm going to roll around the outside of the field, follow around behind FSG and do that sort of part of the headland. And uh, we'll go and get things put away, tidied up, and... Uh, Pack down for next season. Here we go. Fold it up so we should be able to carry on just running here with the roller behind us. Go and get the little part done here on the left. Interesting idea though to leave some of it uh, unrolled and see what sort of difference we do get in our yields. It would be an interesting little exercise I think. I don't know what the bank manager would say though if we're leaving potential yield out on the uh, yield out on the fields. Although we could argue that the uh, potential bonus for rolling might be offset by the uh, cost of the equipment and the maintenance and fuel and everything like that to uh, run the equipment so it could be a double-edged sword to actually do it but anyhow we'll get this a little bit done and then we'll go and get things washed and put away we'll just leave the roller there uh, we'll come out and pick it up with the john Deere, maybe one of the smaller tractors just to get it folded up and moved around now uh, we'll worry about getting the two air seaters here put away like if he's given his a good clean down much better than it was when it left the field, which is not good, we'll uh, make sure we do the same once it gets out of our way. Well, the cart's not too dirty. We'll give it a quick wash down, but uh, it's mainly the toolbar which we need to get done. So we'll just swing over to that and go and take care of this. Get rid of all that filth and dirt and everything that's up on there. There it is, uh, well maintained. The next time we pull it out, it should all just work with no issues. I am impressed with how neat and tidy we're keeping the place. It's not too bad, is it? We're uh, we're not doing too bad compared to what some of our other farms have been like. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all our crops planted for uh, well this side of winter, anyhow. Like I said, we're uh, just gonna have to wait now until we've got some stuff growing, maybe some weeds to take care of too at some stage. We'll get out and tackle those. And yep. uh, yeah, whether we prep the other fields or not, not we see. We will wait and see. Yeah, I think it feels like a natural break at the moment to finish this episode. Hmm. Indeed it does. Right. Well, uh, thank you for your hard work. Thank you for cleaning oh, up after nice yourself. <laughs> I do my best. Uh, that is good to be back. Good to have you back. Good to have your help. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what comes next. Indeed. All right, mate. Take care. Have a good week, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Yeah. Cheers, Ogs. Take right. care, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, there we are. That is all planted, and uh, well, does say it needs rolling. Some of it does need rolling. Eighty-one acres in here, which is fantastic. So uh, we will just wait and see what comes for next time. We'll, uh, we do have a few things to do, so uh, wait and see where we end up with time. Just need to make sure if we're not going to roll any more of this that we get this roller out of here, all the uh, crop grows up around it because that could be a little bit difficult to extract once it has uh, crop growing up there, canola growing all around it. So we'll sure. We get in here and pull that out, give it a good clean off, and uh, put it away. So, as always, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that episode, and uh, we look forward to catching you in the next one.